Well, what's happening, guys? My name is OTG, and I'd like to welcome you to career mode here in Italia. And you can see in front of us, I didn't tell you last time in Belgium, I thought you might want to wait till Monza Italiano. Our hat rival is, in fact, Lewis Hamilton, the McLaren Mercedes. And we get off to a great start of qualifying in um, third position, going now into the little uh, chicane style, getting a bit of contact there with Hamilton. Kind of corner a little bit, but giving him the leeway. And there's Mark Webber going up us inside. So now we're off to a pretty decent start, keeping our position. But we're going side by side. Mark Webber now yields behind us. So we're behind Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton in the McLaren Mercedes. We're already putting away from the cars behind. So this could be a two-horse race for the victory now. Looking up the inside of Lewis Hamilton, cutting the corner. Massively. And restarting Los Reyes. Now I'll tell you why I restarted. One, I made way too many corner-cutting corner, corner cutting mistakes, and I felt it's not fair on you guys if this series isn't clear. So, you know, I, I feel a little bit responsible for uh, doing that, but we're off to an even better start in this one. So we're into the rich film mix, going side by side, Fernando Alonso, and of course, grooming his neck down there is Mark Webber, Lewis Hamilton ahead of us, breaking a little bit later into the chicane, keeping the car on the track, getting our left front tyre just a little bit on the uh, kerb. But now we're going side by side with Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel-esque now, going around this sharp, Right-hander cutting from the outside to the inside in one smooth swipe, breaking later into the second chicane. And we have first position, a little bit of back-end wheel spin, but we are first position here in Italiano Monzia. So yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to explain to you why I did a restart. I want to make this series as realistic as possible, really. Seeing as I've recorded, I have, I have raced this full season. This full season is completely race, so I know the outcome. You guys don't, so I'm going to leave it, so I'm going to put the emphasis on it. Make you want to see the series. Um, but yeah, this track, obviously, Monza, a great track. This is probably the track I was looking forward to the most, because I get to choose my challenge. Um, this is the mid-season that I was looking forward to, because I get a team offer. I've got Lotus, Renault, and this Lotus, you know what, they are a fantastic team. And I'll tell you now, they've done so much for me as a driver. Giving me a car that I feel that I can go ahead and push for the championship with. With Williams, didn't, I just felt like Pastor Maldonado was going to get everything there, and I didn't feel comfortable driving for the team. And you can you can kind of see why, because Pastor is the main driver, and I, he wasn't getting the high position qualifying. And I've come here to a team with Kimi Raikkonen, who's struggling for points as well. So, you know, hopefully Kimi can up his game. One thing I never noticed was the fact that Romain Grosjean has more points than him, and he was doing so well. Grosjean was pushing for podiums. I think he did get a podium and a getting pole. Not he, he was close for a pole position. I think he was getting second and thirds. And... They get rid of Grosjean for Kimi, which doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, if any real team, they'd keep the guy that's getting points instead of the guy that's on, that's on. Um, I think he's on 11 or 9, round about that region. But yeah, this track individually is probably one of my personal favourites. It's like a small little track that you can love. Hockenheim, very similar as you see there. I go for an instant replay. Then simply Do you remember them as a kid? Does anybody here remember that song? In particular, on the claw machines, the kid. That was literally like the song when I was on holiday camps. It was like, Instant Replay, Dan, Dan, Boop. Yeah, that, you know the one. It's an amazing song. I wasn't expecting it's, it's an annoying song because every time you go, Boop, Miss, Boop, Instant Replay. Basically, they're rubbing it in your face saying, You're shit at this game. You cannot win. And then I was at Butlins, I think it was, and I went on the Mario machine. My sister, I'm telling you stories. This is going to be a story. Let's talk about this. This is going to be the topic of this one. It's going to be about games and uh, holidays. So, yeah, uh, basically, what happened was I went to Butlins uh, for a weekend for my birthday. It wasn't on my birthday, it was the week before. We saw Stavlos Flatley, if you know who they are. Britain's Got Talent with the, the big uh, Greek guys. Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Moving on to the story, though. I saw Stewie Griffin at the time. It was This was about three or four years ago. At the time, I was a big fan of like, Family Guy, and I, wanted, I was like, oh, yeah, let's get Stewie. I'm pretty cool. I'm sure mate. Yeah, Stewie, Stewie Griffin. So I went in there. I spent about four quid on it and got it. In. And it was a pretty easy one. And then my sister was like, oh, you keep winning these things. I only won one thing at the time. I want you to win me a win me something. I said, okay, then we'll go around the slots. So I asked my mum, oh, mum, can we just have like two quid each just so I can see if she can get something. She was like, okay, then, but you have to stay out there for longer. So basically, we walked around Butlins in the freezing cold weather in the rain along the seaside. Not a fun experience at all. But, uh, um, so yeah, we went in there. And there was a little Princess Peach. Uh, Princess Peach she wanted. There was Yoshi, Mario's. Mario-esque. 
um, uh, what they call claw machine. And I went in first time and I aimed for a peach and I got a Yoshi. And that was pretty amazing. And I was like, oh, at the start of it, I was like to my sister, if I get Yoshi, I will keep Yoshi. And she was like, oh, you won't get Yoshi, can you have a bit of each? If, translation, if you get Yoshi, I will kill you because I want Princess Peach. It's kind of the same sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I uh, went for the Yoshi, got a Yoshi, then went for a Mario, got a Mario, went for the Princess Peach, we got Donkey Kong. She was pissed. She was seriously. This was the best slot. This was the best ever I've done on a claw machine. I was getting them instant, like yes, 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 yes. I was just pounding the machine. It was like hitting the apexes around the corner, going vroom, 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 and the scoring goals like a Man United against Arsenal. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Remember that one, Arsenal fans? Yeah, you get mad. So you're like bang, 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 go, go, go. Toy, toy, toy. And yeah, that was pretty fine. And then she got really annoyed because she didn't get the one that she wanted. Oh, the little baby not get what you wanted. Uh, so, yeah, that's one story. That's a pretty fun story. Putting a 3.4 seconds in. Little bit stop. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on to a different story. I'll tell you about the time when my parents trolled me. Now, this summer, last summer, 2012 summer, I was going with my parents joking like making because I wanted to go Grand Canary. If you don't know where that is, it's one of the Canary Islands. Grand Canary, Canary Islands. Whoa, you can do maths. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh yeah, mum, can we go there, Dad? I oh, please. Yeah, oh, and I was making like just really bad song. Looking back, I was like, I was it. The song was Grand Canary, Grand Canary. We're going to the land. Didn't make sense at the time. It did. It, it kind of did. My parents were like, um, we can't afford to go. At, to Grand Canary this year, and uh, so we decided we we're going to go to Dorset instead. That's where Monkey World is, and it would be a pretty good day. And I was like, okay, if money's cheap, then we, we don't really mind as long as we get to spend a week away, relaxing, doing activities as a family. That's really what I wanted to do. And then we was in the way. I woke up early. If you don't know how close to the airport is Stansted, I was going in the car, and I noticed I knew the route. I knew the route from uh, to go around the M25 because I was asking my dad on the way, and he was going to take us all the way around the M25, thinking that it'd be a lot easier, seeing as it was on a Friday at about 10 or 11 o'clock, not very busy time, he said, oh, it'd be a lot quicker, and I already took my suspicion, so we didn't go there, we went around the A12, if you don't know, that's the road to get to Stanford from where I am, and, uh, yeah, you've already basically told your story, but they started to go past, and they were starting, I knew we didn't hear Stanford because I could see the planes, and I knew the route, the bike, it was the back of my hand, uh, so I was like, I was going along there, and it was one of them really weird things when you see, like, your, your parents, are going into the corner and they lie to you and you, I, would, I knew he was going to I already said to them oh yeah we're probably going there they're probably going to troll us I knew it and that they, still to this day they'll say you didn't have a clue even though I know I personally did but um so yeah he was going in there and he went around the corner and they just surprised us like hell by saying yeah uh, it turns out we're going on holiday and seeing as I have an absolute massive like problem with like 9-11 and feeling like I'm going to get crashed but so, so like from all the build, I love going in the airport, especially early morning. I love going airports. I love the whole thing of airports. Got these really nice Mackenzie sunglasses. Love the holiday. Love the sun. Plane ride. I can't sit in a stupid Ryanair plane, budget plane, for about four hours. It was. So I got my PSP out. Played football manager. Took Colchester United to the Premier League, bro. And got Neymar. And then all oh, we got some regen players. That was basically that story. That was it was an interesting story. I mean, I started to go off the idea when they said that they booked it and they showed us where it was. And uh, yeah, it was some a few things. And I, it was a great surprise. But my sister got really annoyed because um, she then started getting upset because like, she wanted to go Monkey World and they promised us she'd go to Dorset. Which is one of the weirdest, weirdest things you can ever imagine. As a pigeon is going hoo 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 in the background. I think they live on my roof. But I've got my window open. It's a beautiful day in here. Just recording some uh, career mode. Season 2 career mode, which I'm recording now. Which you guys will see in the summer holidays probably. Because that's my schedule for career mode. I hope you guys are enjoying career mode as well. Um, so yeah, quickly uh, announcement as we come on to the very last lap of the race, you've seen pretty much dominance here. Uh, if you have any topics you'd like me to discuss, I think I might do the Suarez biting and how racism's got into sport now. I can do different subjects like how to become quite mildly successful in the motorsporting career mode, motorsporting career of um, YouTube. I wouldn't say motorsport, I just do bloody Formula One. I don't do like rally or grid or none of that stuff. I'm just uh, Formula One Gizala Fam. So yeah, you can see behind me I got McLaren one too. So yeah, leave it down below. Any single topic that you'd like me to discuss. 
why I did that voice. I do not know who's we'll coming around now. First sector, fastest first sector personal, 3.3 seconds behind uh, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, six seconds behind him is Jensen Bodan. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Optimal view, not bad. Why am I going to bloody accents? I've got to really hurt myself for this. Why I keep doing this? I haven't got a clue. I will apologise to anyone who's mildly offended by my accent religion or potato. Potato! Oh, for God's sake, I need to stop this seriously. Um. Yeah, if you don't know who I am, basically, I'm rather I'm quite, a, quite a funny character. I will make people laugh, like, for fun. I've done this with uh, Dre and some other people. I just, just, just met, come up with some random stuff that I don't even think of sometimes. It's not, not offensive. As we win the Italian Grand Prix. Boom! See, I, I don't, don't have, like, a thought process that says, OK, OK, this is going to be funny, 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 funny. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the bit that goes in the middle is the bit that says, is anyone going to be offended by this? My brain says, nah, they'll just enjoy it. They'll probably go home crying and start murdering kittens. So, yeah, if uh, you don't like mur people who murder kittens, leave a like below. Hitting the hot lap, indeed. Guys, thank you for watching. My name is... I'm trying to do Spanish. Um, Sorry if anyone's offended. I don't know how to say Spanish OTGX Gaming. My name is OTG. I'll right, see you guys very, very shortly for some more... Formula One content on my channel, number two in the Drivers' Championship. Oh, goodbye. Love. Yeah, just seriously, though. Like, thank you guys for watching. My name is OTG. I'll see you guys very shortly. Bye.